We're back. We're laying down the law. I am your host, Steve Foster, along with the former All-Pro NFL quarterback. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Jeff Blake. I catch for him. I block for him. I tell him to dive into the end zone like Tom Brady did from the five-yard line. Tom Brady did a pretty good job yeah, he did. moving his team down 14 a couple of times in the game last evening. Listen, you can give us a call on the Wilkesair.com hotline. 210-656-ESPN, 210-656-3776. Find us on Facebook. Give us some likes. Laying down the law, parentheses, sports radio. Uh, we're both on Twitter. You are Jeff Blake underscore eight. And I am Foss, F-O-S-S underscore sports. But right now, let's shift to the AFC. I was talking about Tom Brady and uh, 20th anniversary of Jeff Blake being uh, in the Pro Bowl, the NFL Pro Bowl. So, course with uh, the AFC represented we need to talk now about that AFC game so we bring in somebody who knows the Indianapolis Colts very well she's been very involved uh, with them continuously yeah she's all blue she's all blue the blue mare and also diamonds and pearls uh, lovely inside and out Mm -hmm. so we enjoy speaking with her this whole season that would definitely be our very own Heather Lloyd. Heather, welcome back. Thank you. I was a little worried at first that you were going to lead into me talking about Tom Brady. And my first, you know, my first uh, statement was going to be, oh, come on. Do we have to talk? We talked about Tom Brady yesterday. Do we have to talk about Tom Brady today? <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about talking, we're, we're, we're talking about Andrew Luck Brady today. Again. Yeah, we, we want you to talk about Andrew. What, 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 why don't you talk about the... Uh, uh, the former All Pro Cincinnati Bengal of the of the of the AFC, say, Jeff congratulations, Blake. Congratulations, Jeff. Yes, <laughs> I, I, you know what? As a congratulations, I'm going to send you a nice little package uh, of something that you're going to enjoy wearing. Oh, that's for right. Or two while you take a picture. So. Oh yeah, you've made a bet. Yes, we got a little bet to settle up from last week. I'm yes. sorry that we uh, we did that to your Bengals. You know, I have to say, I didn't think Andy Dalton played a terrible game. I really don't. I mean. Mm-hmm. And I don't think the Colts played a perfect game, but they came out. So, uh, yes. so here we are this week, heading to Denver and heading to play Peyton Manning. So, give us some thoughts. Give us some thoughts on that. What do you think? You know I don't what's think funny? Colts going to do my, in in Denver. My initial thought is, it feels like it was a month ago that we played the Bengals because the week leading up to this has been so long, and the buildup has been so crazy as it always is. Um. But I'm telling you, I do think the Colts, I feel like they cleaned up their act a little bit last week against the Bengals. I, you know, there was a an Andrew Luck um, sack fumble, which the Colts did thankfully recover. Um, but other, and, and, and Boom Heron had his fumbles, and T.Y. Hilton had some uncharacteristic drops. But believe it or not, all that being said, that was a cleaned-up version of what we had seen from that team in, in the weeks leading up to the Bengals game. So if they can continue to clean up some of that stuff this week. If the defense can, you know, get in there and rattle Peyton Manning, as you know, you have to, the only way to beat Peyton Manning is to get in his face and get him off his game. And if they can, you know, protect Andrew Luck, well, actually, I actually feel like they did that well last week against the Bengals who I know are not a past, you know, rush happy team, but still we got to see a little bit more of what Andrew Luck can do when he's got time to throw, which is good. And if they can hold on to the ball, I, I actually I, I think they've got a, a good shot to go in there and beat the uh, Broncos. We're talking with Heather Lloyd. You can follow her, mm-hmm. the Blue Mare, when she's talking Indianapolis Colts. She also has uh, blog Diamonds and Pearls. Now, you gave us a call from Pigskin uh, pig and Pearls. Pigskin. You got no Pigskin and Pearls. <laughs> yeah, diamonds and Pearls. <laughs> you, you, you probably, you, you're the title of the song, baby. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, I don't want you to get in trouble diamonds. with Prince. I know you I know you ha- from that Minneapolis area. You know, you've been up there and we're on uh, TV and doing everything like that, talking Prince about is news my boy. and, sp- yeah, and sports. Is also my boy. So yeah. yes, so we can we can say diamonds and pearls, but it's pigskin. We want people to be able to find the blog and find you exactly. on Twitter. Now you were inside. You gave us a call from Lucas Oil Stadium. So that's inside, okay? Uh, in Vesco, where the Broncos play, that's outside. So there is a difference from the teams that play in those indoor and, stadiums. And and the elevation is a lot higher. Yes, it is. So And I'm, crowd noise. Yes. I mean, yeah. We I mean, listen, this is night and day from last week. It is. I mean, playing outside, of course, the in the forecast there's a little bit of sloppy snow and freezing rain coming in this afternoon, which is just freaking perfect. Um 
probably more so for the Broncos than for the Colts, who don't play in that kind of uh, weather typically. Uh, and then the crowd noise and the, you know, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a big difference. The altitude, of course, all week the team has played down the altitude, as they all do, right? They say you get in there, it maybe throws you off during warm-ups. Jeff, you might be able to speak to that uh, oh, yeah. a little bit. They say it, it throws you off in warm-ups a little bit, but by the time the game starts, you know, you're kind of over it. So I, I don't know how much that is a factor isn't, um, but uh yeah, it's a, it's a really different environment that they're going into today. So, it, again, they're just going to have to be on their game, and they're going to have to be on it more than they were last week and a lot more than they were in the weeks leading up to that. Okay, I got a quick question for you. How would you okay. feel that if Peyton Manning, who is an ex colt quarterback, beat your Colts today? I mean, it, how ironic is that? You know, I know, and he. You know, we. The sad reality is, I mean, because because wanna... your team, because your organization got rid, uh, got rid of uh, Peyton Manning, thinking I that he's know. too old and he needs to move on. They need to start over with a new generation, but yet and still, he's still in the playoffs every year. I well, and here's the thing: Andrew Luck's been in the playoffs every year so far with his young career. Yes. So I kind of feel like we're still moving in the right direction here. Yes. We started this season with Peyton Manning beating the Colts at Denver, and I sure as heck don't want to end the season with Peyton Manning beating the Colts at Denver. That, that would kind of be a cruel reality, wouldn't it? Oh, that's, what, that's why I want to ask you that question. How would the Colt Nation feel about Peyton Manning coming back in and um, taking them out the first game of the season and ending their season this year? You know, I think here's how I, I would look at it personally. and I, I, For the most part, I think Colts fans feel the same way. If they win today, it's not going to be about Peyton Manning or about Andrew Luck. It's going to be a team effort because if there's one thing we've learned this playoff, it's that no quarterback can do this alone. So Tom Brady, I've been saying that my whole life. <laughs> I've been saying that in Cincinnati. They don't get it done. But no, we don't. We don't want to lose to Peyton. We don't. And, and you know, it's still. I'll tell you this too. It's also still complicated. You know, it's all. It's still weird playing against Peyton. It always will be. You know. Mm-hmm. It never looks normal to see him in a Broncos jersey. And it still feels, you know, you still watch him out there doing all of his gestures at the line of scrimmage. And, I, and at times, you, you kind of forget that you're watching the other quarterback now. And, and this is, you know, it's been a while. So it's weird. It is. I mean, I personally feel like I'll never question what they did because, you know, we're building for the future here. And Andrew Luck is everything that you would ever want in a young quarterback. I mean, I'm looking at these teams out, out there right now that are looking for a quarterback. You know, look at the Bills, look at the Jets. I'm like, oh, where do you even go right now? I, I think I'd probably risk it in the draft and look at who's out there right now. So I kind of feel like if Peyton gets past the Colts, and gets to you know the AFC Championship again, you know, good, good for him. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of look at it as who knows how many more opportunities he's going to have to do that. You know, you'll always look at it, Andrew Luck, like, hey, I hope this guy gets there a dozen times in his career. So We're talking with Heather Lloyd uh, from the Blue Mare and Pigskin and Pearls. Let me uh, tell you this. The 12s are going to lose, and the factors of nine are going to win. You got that math? Wait. You got that math? <laughs> no. No, say it again. Say it again. The 12s? The twelves okay. are gonna lose, and the okay. nines, the factors of nine, okay. are gonna win. So okay, twelve. So we're, saying, we're saying cowboys and broncos. Right. Gotcha. Nine, right. nine and eighteen will win. Twelve and twelve will lose. And I'm kind of thinking the opposite. I'm of course taking the Colts, <laughs> um, and I am also. I'm kind of thinking the Packers are probably going to get it done at home against the Cowboys today. But I will say this again. Credit to the Cowboys because, you know, those guys are fighters this year. They are. I mean, I I would not put it past them to go into um, Lambeau and beat the Packers. Well, and let, me, let me explain something to you. I played in some cold weather games. If, if It's hard to come back and beat someone if you get down in cold weather games. You break a lot easier in cold weather I games. I believe that. Then if you get down two touchdowns just late in the third quarter, it's, it's kind of hard to come back. It is. Uh, no, very... I, and you know, and you're right. And that's that. That's key for both of these teams yes. today. They have to keep it close. Colts, yeah, they do have to keep it close. And truthfully, like this whole season too, the Colts have not played well when they get behind. It just it, it changes everything. I, I don't, I'm not sure. People have, you know, yeah, I get. I'm sure your game plan changes changes a little bit differently. But literally, they play differently when they're behind. You know, by a ways. And you're right. I'm sure the cold weather does not help. No. And I would say the same for the Cowboys. Well, exactly. but I, I, and I will say this, though. Tom Brady came back, 
And I've seen Tony Romo come back from. But Tom Brady down. plays in cold weather all the time, it so does. that's not he's not that's not a factor, right? You know. And listen, let me ask you a question too. Were at any point during that game? Did you look at that score with the Ravens and say, ah, this is over? No, I, mean, I didn't. Knowing who no. your opponent uh, was. Tom Brady exactly. has done it so you many exactly. times, though. That's his exactly. M.O. in the playoffs. And when, they, and right. when you know, the worst thing that happened was when the Ravens got in his face and they fired him up, you know, when they, when they gave a little knee after they, they kind of they sacked him. Exactly. I think that, that he said, okay. And, I, you know, again, I'm, I am glad because we, we support in NFL that moment of time is when I wish I could still play. When I see <laughs> things like that go on, I'm like, man, that gets me fired up. You know, Jeff Blake is, is, is a very to himself, quiet guy. He doesn't speak a lot if he doesn't know you. Let me tell you, on the football field and when he knows you, He's an encyclopedia. <laughs> he got plenty of words, Heather Lloyd. Plenty words. And I tell you, he, some no, of the funniest thing, Yeah, and he I, I would have I would have paid to hear what he said to, to the Baltimore oh, I can Ravens. I can tell you some stories, you. <laughs> man. I can tell you some stories going back and forth. Yes, well, well Heather. I, go ahead. I kind of thought it was the kiss of death, too, when the Ravens got down there, when, when the Patriots were starting to catch up and they only got the field goal. They didn't get a touchdown. Right there, I was like, eh, you know what? This whole game just changed. So well, it's the playoffs. You got to score, and you got to score a touchdown every time you get uh, get down there. And that's exactly what I hope my Colts are going to do today. What's the score going to be, uh, Heather Lloyd? Oh, I'm thinking it's going to be. I mean, I'm thinking we're talking 30s probably. I'm going to say, let's say, I think I said 27 to 30 before. I think I'm predicting we're going to get a safety with Peyton in the end zone like he did that first game uh, when uh, when he came to Lucas Oil Stadium. So, okay. It's going to be interesting. 30 to 27. I'm going to say 30 to 27 Colts. Okay. I, 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 you know, and support your team as well you should. And we're going to watch it today since you won't have the luxury of Lucas Oil Stadium. I will be at home, and you know what? We're supposed to get an ice storm here today, and I swear to you, that my only thought is if the power goes out, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> no, you, what you do is charge I'll up your fine. charge up your phone, and you can you can hit me on Twitter, and I will keep you informed. Exactly. Can you exactly t- tweet me if the power goes out because I'll be <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> well, you have to let me know. So certainly, I will. Uh, let you know. Uh, get get that figured out before get get all, all the power packs charged up too. And uh, we certainly appreciate your time I today. I have backup stuff I will charge up. Good, good thought. Yeah, Thank you. Well, trying to help you out there. 30 to 27, says Heather Lloyd, the blue mare. Uh, she is right in the middle in the heart of all things Indianapolis Colts. We certainly appreciate it. Good luck today, and we will be talking with you soon, young lady. Sounds good. Good luck to your Cowboys. All right. Thank you very much. We're going to take a sidebar and come back with somebody who knows about the Ice Bowl uh, personally. And uh, he's got a whole bunch of accolades, a very special Green Bay Packer. When we come back, right here on Laying Down the Law.